The race for the White House now, and with 26 days to go, it's time for the next big debate. The VP candidates square off tonight, high stakes and high pressure. As new polls show Mitt Romney closing the gap in some key states, it's your voice, your vote, and ABC's Jonathan Carls at the debate site in Kentucky, where Biden and Ryan will square off. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. Tonight, right down on that stage is the one and only showdown between Vice President Biden and Paul Ryan. And with the way that first presidential debate has transformed this race, the stakes tonight are as high as they have ever been for a vice presidential debate. Paul Ryan may not have as much experience as Joe Biden, but he's done at least eight debates in previous congressional races, including this one when he first ran for office and was just 27 years old. His opponent said he was young enough to be her son. Ryan has never had a debate on a stage anywhere near as big as the one tonight, but two years ago, he did have a memorable face-off against President Obama at a bipartisan health care summit at the White House. I've got to tell you, the American people are engaged. And if you think they want a government takeover of health care, I would respectfully submit you're not listening to them. Ryan has spent a lot of time preparing for this, including numerous debate sessions. I like Joe personally quite a bit. I just disagree with his policies. Campaigning in Ohio Wednesday, Mitt Romney said he is confident that Ryan will have a strong performance. I think Paul Ryan will do great. Thank you. In an exclusive interview with Diane Sawyer, the president talked about what he expects from Joe Biden. What's your message to Joe Biden about tomorrow night? Well, I, I you know, I think Joe just needs to be Joe. Biden scored no points in his last debate four years ago in what turned out to be the most watched vice no, presidential right. debate in don't history. The notion that somehow, because I'm a man, I don't know what it's like to raise two kids alone. I don't know what it's like to have a child you're not sure is going is to make it. I understand. I understand. Emotional moment four years ago, John. The audience could top that audience tonight. And it's coming as we're getting some new solid polls from the key battleground states of Virginia, Florida, and Ohio. Yeah, this, this is the key thing. I mean, we've seen in national polls, Romney has gained on the president in some cases, actually moved ahead of the president. But now what we're seeing is that Romney is gaining in the key battleground states where the race really matters. Uh, he has gained, put it to virtually a tie in Florida and Virginia. He had been behind in both states. And even in Ohio, the president still has a lead there. But in poll this morning, uh, Romney is gaining. He is gaining. The president has about a six-point lead in Ohio this morning. Hey, John Carl, thanks very much. And Diane Sir and I will have live coverage of the vice president debate starting at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. And we are so proud that the moderator will be our friend and colleague, ABC senior foreign affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz.